So if you're swiping right on everyone, that shows that you have no standards. So one really cool thing that you can do is you can run multiple Tinder profiles. So why can't you just swipe more often with one profile? Why do you need to make additional profiles? The goal on Tinder is to get their phone number. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how Tinder works. So whether you're new to online dating or just looking to get more matches and higher quality matches, I'm gonna cover everything from A to Z in this video, all my hacks that you can start using immediately to get much better results on Tinder. So to start things off, you don't want to swipe right on every single girl. A lot of guys think, oh, what do I have to lose? If I swipe right on everyone, then that'll cast the biggest net. And in theory, that makes a little bit of sense, right? If you swipe right on everyone, then anyone that likes you back, then you'll get a match. However, Tinder actually penalizes you for doing that. It shows to the algorithm that you have no standards and you have kind of like a value score that they assign to you. And that's based on other people's value scores and if they choose to swipe right on you. So if you're swiping right on everyone, that shows that you have no standards. Number one, you should only be swiping right on girls that you find attractive, okay, that you would sleep with. And it should be a binary decision. Yes, I would sleep with her, swipe right. No, I would not, swipe left. And in terms of your pictures, you need a professional photo shoot, okay? This is a must. It's not optional. Most people are using really shitty photos. They're using photos that do not make the cut and you just can't compete with the best girls and stand a good chance without professional photos. So on the programs that I run, on the eight week program, we have guys get a professional photo shoot as soon as they start the program. And then we have a team of hot girls that selects the top five best photos out of that whole batch of hundreds of photos. And then we apply aesthetic upgrades. So then that takes the best of your pro photos and now you have aesthetic upgrades making you look even better. And then I personally write each guy's bio for them. Okay, and we also have that as a standalone service separate from the eight week program. You can find out more details, booking a call, in the upper left corner or in the link in the description or pinned comment, okay? And in that service that we provide, we give you a guide that shows all my best past clients' photos with rationale for why each photo in their profile works so well. And we also have a set of guidelines for the photographer that'll show you exactly how to get the pictures done and exactly what not to do. It all starts with your photos. That's gonna be the most important part of your profile. The bio is, is good too, but the profile photos are going to make the biggest difference. By doing that process, now you're showcasing literally the best version of yourself possible. And by doing the right swipes only on the girls that you find attractive, that's going to give you the best value score. If you're already using Tinder, which most of you are, and then you get the pro photo shoot, you don't want to just replace the existing photos that you have with the new best photos. I had a client in 2014 that was a programmer for Tinder, and he said that the algorithm will associate your old score with whatever new photos that you put in. If you had like regular, not so great photos, which is the case for most people, and then you put in the pro photos, it's still going to penalize you. It already downranked you in the algorithm before, and it's just gonna move you a little bit in that already downranked range. So what's far better is to start a completely new profile. You should be starting with a new phone number that's really important. It has to be a new phone number to not link to the old account, a new email address, and if you reuse any photos from previous profiles, you need to first take a screenshot of the photo that will remove the metadata, and then you need to change the contrast value by one or two points with the default built-in editor on your phone. That's going to make the picture look different to the algorithm, and by taking the screenshot of it, that removes the metadata. But it needs to be a new phone number. And a lot of guys always are wondering like, okay, well, how do I get a new phone number? You can of course do the obvious thing and buy a new SIM card, but there are easier ways. Okay, so what I recommend to my clients is you talk to friends or family that are not on Tinder. So if you have relatives that are married, you have friends that are in relationships or married that are not using Tinder, you can send the one-time text verification code to their phone, and then that will allow you to start a new profile. Okay, there's also a service at mobilesms.io. We'll pop that up on the screen, mobilesms.io. And there's another one, verifywithsms.com. And these provide cheap phone numbers, typically between one and $2 that you can use. That'll be a real phone number verification and it works on apps like Tinder. So the Tinder CEO went on record saying that they reward you for using the app more often. So ideally, you should try to use the app multiple times a day 
when maybe you're walking somewhere or when you have downtime, but it's going to reward you the more that you're online using the app, the more visible you are to other profiles. What they don't want is someone that's using the app like every once in a great while and they get a match and they're not really paying attention or really interacting with people on the app. It's not that you have to use it all the time, but try to use it multiple times per day for brief periods. And Tinder claims the best time to be swiping is between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. in your time zone. Okay, that's kind of like the hot spot. So if you're going to be swiping and you have limited time in your schedule, try to do it during that time range. Okay, there's something called a boost which a lot of you are aware of, and that can give you up to 10x visibility to other profiles for 30 minutes. Okay, and they have longer boosts. You can pay for one that's like three hours that'll do like 100x visibility. So I recommend doing boosts when you are low on your amount of leads that you have. So I tell guys to be getting at least 10 new phone numbers a week. So if you already have a bunch of girls you're talking to and you're trying to set dates with them and you don't really need a whole lot of new leads, that's not the best time to do a boost. Okay, conversely, if you don't have any girls you're talking to or a very low amount, you have a very low amount of leads, then that's a good time to do a boost and that'll bring in a whole bunch of matches. And then from there, you can either use my tech scripts if you have Leads Machine or the eight-week program, or you can you know do your best to try to direct those conversations towards a phone number. Okay, the goal on Tinder when you're messaging is to get her phone number. Don't try to set a date there. Don't try to game the girl there. Don't try to get to know her in, in great detail on the app. If the girl's attractive, they're getting messages and matches constantly that's inundating their phone. And every message that you send, if she's not looking at the app, you're gonna get buried in a queue by all the other messages that come after you until she looks at the app again. Let's say that you know she sends you a message and you respond later and then she's not on the app for another eight hours every guy that matches her and messages her within that eight hours is going to push your message down in that list but over the phone she's going to be seeing your messages much easier and you're not going to be pushed down in, in this giant queue like you are on the app so remember that the goal on tinder is to get their phone number another thing worth mentioning is something called a super like tinder claims that this will give you a three times better chance on average of matching with the girl, okay? And there's tiers to Tinder as well. There's paid tiers, right? The free version allows you to do 100 right swipes like every 12 hours, okay? So as soon as you exhaust that 100 right swipes, there's like a 12 hour cooldown period. And then you have 100 again. Then there's Tinder Plus, Tinder Gold, and Tinder Platinum, okay? Tinder Plus gives you unlimited swipes, unlimited right swipes. Tinder Gold allows you to see who's swiped on you so you can go through the list of everyone that's swiped on you, swiped right on you, and you can just match people automatically from that list. But what I recommend is to get the top tier, which is called Platinum. And the reason why that's important is you get all the benefits of Tinder Plus and Tinder Gold, so you can see who's right swiped on you, you get unlimited swipes, but when you do a super like with Tinder Platinum, it allows you to send a direct message. Okay, so this is very, very powerful. I have certain texts that I send that have a really high response rate because they invoke curiosity and stand out from other guys. And so when you see a girl that's like above an eight or above an 8.5 and you send that super like with a direct message, then you can oftentimes get into a conversation with a girl that you may not have even matched with in the first place. Okay, you can bait her to respond with certain key texts that I can teach you to send. And if you have interest in accessing the full set of text messages that I send over the phone, and the full set of messages that I sent on Tinder, you can check out my Leads Machine product with the link in the description, or you can join my eight-week program and get access to that stuff for life as well. Okay, you can go to the link in the info card in the upper left, or with the link in the description or pinned comment, and go over the options with someone on my team, both about getting your photo shoot done, getting access to the message scripts to send on Tinder and over text, and also exactly how to build your profile. So one really cool thing that you can do is you can run multiple Tinder profiles. And a lot of people question that and they say, well, why can't you just swipe more often with one profile? Why do you need to make additional profiles? And the answer is that they limit how many matches they give you in a day. There's like some kind of constraints. They're not just gonna give you unlimited matches forever if you use the app constantly. So you can think of it like this. If you were to take all your matches for the day and combine it with like two of your friends' matches, it's almost like cloning yourself. So now you can drag in 
matches from multiple profiles. And you can also showcase different versions of yourself that way. So you can have your main profile with your best picture as the first picture. Then you can have your second profile with your second best picture as the first picture. And then your third profile can have your third best picture as the main picture in the profile. So some girls might resonate with a shirtless pic. Other girls might resonate with a more elegant pic. Other girls might resonate with a more thrilling or adventurous shot. So this allows you to showcase different versions of yourself, but also draw in matches from multiple sources. Now, the way that you do this, you would run your main account on your phone. Okay, that's gonna be where the primary account resides. And then you would make the additional profiles on your browsers on your computer. So you can go to tinder.com. The rule is just to do one profile per browser. So you can do a profile on Google Chrome, you can do a profile on Internet Edge, which is former Microsoft Explorer, or Safari, or whatever browser that you choose. You can do one on Opera or one on Firefox. And you go to tinder.com and you can just use the free version. So again, you use a new phone number, new email, and what you do is you just do your 100 free right swipes on the extra profiles. And typically, you can use those like once a day. You can use those new profiles once a day. And anyone that swiped on you in the past 24 hours, you're gonna match with them pretty quickly. So it doesn't add a whole lot of extra time to be adding in these multiple profiles. You'll go to the second profile, you're doing your white swipes, match, match, match. Once the matches stop, you can typically go to the next profile, do your swiping, okay, you're getting match, match, match. And then that gives you a whole bunch of extra matches that you normally wouldn't have gotten. And you can do the same on other apps as well, like Bumble. Okay, you can go to bumble.com on the browser and do multiple profiles like that. If any profile stops performing, meaning it's not producing matches or it's producing a, a very low amount of matches, then I recommend replacing it. Okay, they can shadow ban profiles or sometimes the, the exact way the algorithm works isn't known publicly and sometimes they just throttle back the account and you're not really getting many matches anymore. Okay, so the litmus test is, is this profile regularly producing matches? If not, then the best move is to replace it. So when guys do the profile revamp, when they get the pro photos, have the girls on my team select the best photos, I write the bio for them, they usually see a really big improvement. It's like night and day difference. Lots of times it's like 10X. We had one guy recently that was getting two or three matches a week. He went through that process that I just described and he got like 25 matches in the course of one weekend. And then when he plugged into my Tinder messaging scripts, and my texting scripts, he was able to set like 10 dates out of that. And that happens like instantly. As soon as you get those pro photos and you replace your profile with a much better one, you're gonna see a much higher quantity of matches and a much higher quality of matches. And you're still the same person. You're just presenting yourself in a much more optimal way. Just putting up whatever photos and hoping for the best is not a good approach, okay? You're not a hot girl, you don't know if hot girls approve of these photos. That's why we have it go through our team first and they're already pre-vetting and pre-selecting what are gonna be the best photos. So that way you don't need to guess and try to figure out, are these good, are these not good, are these working, etc. Another service you can use if you wanna continuously keep testing new photos is something called Photo Feeler. Okay, so you can upload photos there and a bunch of girls will give ratings based on various traits, okay, your trustworthiness, your attractiveness, et cetera, et cetera. I highly encourage you guys to utilize our services. We have this down to a T. We've helped countless guys get massive results with online dating. So you can either purchase the standalone profile revamp, you can purchase Leads Machine, which is just the texting scripts, or the A-Week program includes the whole profile revamp plus all the texting scripts, plus gives you the exact strategy and blueprint for running your date as well and what to do when you get the girl back home and how to keep around the ones that you want. Okay, so that's the full solution there and you get my personal guidance over the course of eight weeks on calls to help you through any and all problems. Okay, so you can book a call in the upper corner here or with the link in the description or pinned comment and talk to someone on my team about the various options, what they entail, and the various pricing. Make sure you let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Ask any questions that you have and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch my other video about Tinder in the end screen. Thank you guys and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon. <laughs>